Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Um, this, this edition really has more to do with a series of questions and queries I've received about budget, upcoming budget, and um, some information I've received recently from the state, and then rec uh, information that we already know about uh, from the federal government. So. Uh, anyway, the questions I've received have been things like, uh, hey, what's going on with the governor's budget? And do you think there'll be money in the governor's budget for teachers raises or the you know, the final budget, not the governor's budget, the final approved state budget? Um, and what's going on with VRS? You know, are we going to be paying more for our retirement, et cetera? So uh, this, this is kind of a preview into my January 25th um, budget presentation. But I did wanted to share a couple things. One, we... We're at a state meeting um, yesterday and Wednesday, and uh, it's a it was a state business meeting essentially, which uh, business leaders and then um, the um, superintendent, state superintendents get together once a year. And, and and when I say business leaders, I'm talking about people who uh, manage school division, finances, budget, etc. So we get together and we we learn more about the uh, changes in tax law. Um, what's coming down the pike as far as um, state legislation that might impact budget, what's going on at the federal level with budget, what's going on at the state level. Unfortunately, we had governor-elect uh, Northam at the, at the meeting and he provided information to us. So I'll give you the quick and dirty. Um, the federal picture is there's gonna be some cuts uh, to some of the title programs. Um, so there'll be uh, less money flowing from the federal government <clears throat> not a not a huge impact but it'll it'll impact us uh, probably to the tune of um, you know a couple hundred thousand dollars which simply means we'll be taking uh, people or programs that were currently mainly in special ed and title and title one taking uh, that lost revenue and replacing it with local money okay that's essentially what will happen there we don't have any appetite to start doing away with programs that are designed to help kids so we, we, that's not a direction we're going to go in um, but the state picture actually looks pretty good. Uh, the, the governor's, Governor McAuliffe's release budget actually is fairly positive. Now, our, our local composite index went up again, and we had the fifth highest increase in the state. That's not good news. That essentially means um, the, the state views Fauquier County as getting, is becoming wealthier and better able to, you know, uh, provide for their budgetary needs. And so, therefore, they, we receive a lot of state money. But even with that, um, the governor's proposed budget does have additional funds for uh, Falker County Public Schools above and beyond what we're losing with the composite index change. So that's good. Um, and uh, the VRS, uh, VRS fund, the Virginia Retirement System Fund is doing extremely well. And uh, as a result, uh, we're actually gonna see a decrease in what we pay for uh, retirement. So teachers will obviously have no increase to what they're paying. For retirement and we're actually going to be um, you know probably saving a little bit of money uh, that will most likely divert towards um, a proposed teacher uh, staff salary increase so those are all those are all positive things but uh, I've kind of finished with this the, the best and we received plenty of information about how Virginia is doing economically um, and you know how they've exceeded um, the revenue forecasts in the last fiscal year, they've, they've re exceeded their, their um, anticipated uh, increase. So that's good news. But the best thing that we heard was Governor-elect Northam discussing the need to um, increase or improve teacher salaries. And he noted that average teacher salaries in Virginia are approximately, I don't know if it was $6,500 or $7,500 below the national average. And when you take that piece of information, I'll repeat it, 65, it was 65 or 75 dollars, 100 dollars, below the national average for teacher salaries. And when you take into consideration that Virginia is typically in the top five in terms of uh, you know things like graduation rates, um, uh, test scores, uh, Ed Week does a thing called uh, uh, opportunity to exceed, and they rank the, the states. And typically, Virginia is always in that in that top group of a half dozen or so. So when you when you take that and, and look at what, the way we're paying teachers, it's a real problem and uh, something that needs to be addressed. And it seems as though Governor Northam recognizes this and, and made some some very 
uplifting comment. So the way I interpreted it and the folks sitting around me interpret it was, I, I would guess that his amendments, or at least one of his amendments to Governor McAuliffe's budget uh, will include perhaps some additional funding for um, staff raises. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I guess the politician in me would say, why would you uh, bemoan the problem with teacher salaries and um, then talk about the state having a surplus and then talk about budget amendments if you didn't intend to provide at least one budget amendment directed at helping or providing more money for teacher salaries. So that's the way I interpret it. I could be completely wrong, but it certainly was a positive message. So anyway, that's a lot of information. I hope it's been helpful to you and please uh, keep your questions and comments coming. I greatly appreciate it.